What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Melee All Day coming back at you with another little video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you can get the notifications. Uh, this video is an update about the six year old boy in Michigan who was shot by the Chinese man and he was released on a $10,000 bail. It's an update. The man's bail has been revoked and he was rearrested and put on a million dollars bond. The district attorney at the time when the uh, bond was uh, given, it was at the local magistrate. And the district attorney filed a emergency hearing to uh, petition the courts to have the uh, bond uh, raised. And uh, an emergency hearing was had and the judge uh, saw to it and uh, had that bond revoked and put him on a million dollars bond. When you hear six-year-old shot by a neighbor and then you find out that the neighbor was arrested and put on $10,000 bond, you know that must have been a black kid and the alleged attacker wasn't black. And those are the facts of the case. Six-year-old black kid uh, the Chinese man allegedly tried to hit him with a sledgehammer and then he went in his house and got his pistol and shot through the living room window and shot the little kid, man. You know, how could you have this man? He shouldn't even have had a bond. How could you have this man in the community? He shot kids. He shot at kids. There was a bunch of kids out there. And then you put him on $10,000 bond. He might be crazy. We don't know what, obviously, is something's wrong with the man for him to be shooting at not only kids, but little kids, six years old. Are you, like, what the hell? You're shooting at six-year-olds? Whatever them kids was doing, you couldn't go talk to their parents? So that man's either crazy or there's some beef in the neighborhood. There's going to be more to the story, but the good news is, is that that dad doesn't have to take law into his own hands and turn vigilante and kill that man, which he probably wanted to do. Your neighbor shoots your six-year-old son and he's back home and in his house the same day. You call the law and they don't do nothing. As a black man, you're going to feel all type of things, man, running through your body. Like, the law ain't on my side. If I would have did that, I'd have got no bail. Like, you know, it just make you want to snap out. But thankfully, uh... A real judge, because the guy that uh, granted that bond was just a local magistrate. You know, the magistrate, you get arrested. That's the guy that hears your case immediately. And, you know, a magistrate doesn't have the power to sentence you or to preside over a trial or anything. He's basically not a real judge. He's just, you know, a guy that locks you up or lets you go. And in this case, he decided to grant a pitifully low bail so the guy might have knew him he might knew his family there's no telling or maybe he just didn't care that he shot a six-year-old black kid whatever the case may be that man is now back in custody the alleged shooter i'll say alleged because he hasn't been convicted but that man is back in custody and he is in jail right now i'm gonna roll the tape so you can see what the uh prosecuting attorney had to say. I have charged the defendant in this case with the most serious charges that are available on these facts. Uh, those felony charges carry a sentence of up to life in prison, uh, which is the most serious penalty that we have uh, in Michigan. Now, as to the uh, initial bond decision by the magistrate, you know, I'm not going to purport to speak for any other uh, actor in the legal system, except to say uh, that, you know, our recommendation initially was for a bond that was 10 times higher, uh, was for additional uh, restrictions to be put into place. Uh, and we made uh, use of our legal avenues uh, when we disagree with a judge's decision. Uh, we filed an emergency motion as soon as we got that decision with the court, which I argued uh, today, and thankfully the bond was modified and the defendant is in custody as we speak. 